what I'm doing in this tutorial is showing you a program called Canva that lets you create different types of designs. It's a very versatile program. So let me begin with the very basics. And what I'm going to do is just, I've already logged into my account. Um, and the address is www.canva.com, as you can see up here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you just a scroll through and just show you some of the things I've already designed with the program, um, give you a feel for it. Uh, you could design things like this little happy birthday greeting, um, uh, thumbnails to, if you're doing YouTube tutorials. Um, this was a banner I designed for a website. Uh, this was just an image I created that I wanted to use um, as just to insert somewhere on a uh, social media. So um, what I'm going to be really focusing in on today though is all the varieties of different types of designs you can do with this program. So I'm clicking here to show you um, how they are grouped by category. So these design features have to do with social media posts as you can see. If you want to design a Twitter post graphic for instance, an Instagram post um, with some text or whatever the case might be or just images. I'm down here for documents, presentations, uh, letterhead, a certificate, um, and so on and so forth. So there's all different types of options and they're designed by category. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today though is actually showing you how you could use Canva to create presentations. And that is listed under um, where we are. This is un coming right now under recommended um, for me because I've obviously used some of these before. But if you were new to Canva, you'd be finding it under Documents. And I'm going to do a presentation. And I'm going to take this size presentation. Okay. And what's happening right now is Canva is opening up various templates that I can later customize. Uh, these are all free. As you can see, I'm scrolling through to show you a variety of different ones. I could keep scrolling, but I've decided I am going to be using this one. Now this is one that somebody designed that has to do with nutrition, but I'm going to be changing it greatly to what I need to use it for. So let me just click on that and what it's doing, it's opening up on this particular presentation 10 different layouts that I can use. I'm not going to use them all. Um, I want to keep this demo uh, condensed for the sake of time. So I'm going to select just a few from this particular um, one called Fresh Start. So I'm going to use this one because I'm going to use that as my opening slide. Now I want to add a new page which is actually going to be a slide in a presentation. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to continue to want to use this particular layout again. So I simply just really need to click right here. But rather than do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually delete that one for now and I'll show you a reason why I'm going to do that later. Okay. Um, and then um, I'm going to add another page here for a minute. And I'm going to take this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with my first slide and I'm going to start to customize it. I can change the font styles or I could just leave it. And one of the advantages of taking the templates is really using the font styles and the layouts. Okay, I'm in through here. And um, right now, I perhaps don't want to put any text there, um, but I'm just going to delete what's there for now and maybe later put something in that placeholder. I could also delete the placeholder completely. Now what's going to happen is I want to put my own image in here. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking in that box and I'm about to hit delete. And what Canva does is it holds it there as a placeholder for me later to put in my own image. Now let me go down to this one. I'm going to actually delete that image as well and put the placeholder in. And now I'm going to start to design my slides that are part of this presentation. And I will be typing some text in there. 
I can delete all that. I'm not going to take the time right now to type in everything we need. Okay. Now what I was showing you before is I want to um, take this particular layout and reuse it. So what I would simply do right now is click on this. I'm going to hover here and it goes copy this page. And it's down below. And I'm going to do another one of those. So this presentation right now has my opening, these three additional slides, and I could keep adding more. I'll add another one just, okay? And you can see how that works. And this would be my concluding one. Again, I'm going to get rid of that image. Um, don't really need this. I'm obviously going to be changing that later. Okay. And I also have on the bottom here, as you can see, some other text that I'm not going to want. I could put something in there later. Okay. Or I could just delete the orange band completely, design element. So I've selected it and I'm about to delete it on that particular one. Okay, so as I go up here now, I am going to um, pop in an image that I've saved on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Uploads. What's going to show me right now is ones I've already uploaded because I've been using this program for quite a bit. Okay, but I want to go get a new one. So I'm going to my um, go to upload. And I am going to um, upload one from my own computer. So here we go. Upload your own image. Okay, and I have a whole bunch of them there. And I would just pick the one I need. For the sake of time right now, um, I'm just going to pick this one. I actually have it uploaded already, but I'll upload it again to show you how that all works. Okay, so I have it twice, and now it's uploaded again. Okay, now I'm, what I'm going to do is take this and pop it in where we had that placeholder for it, and it'll size it up nicely for me. Okay, I still need to get rid of this little bit down here. I'm going to leave that orange banner, though, because I might want to type some text in later. Okay, now I'm not going to take the time to keep uploading pictures, um, but you get the idea. You could put your own pictures in here. You'd have them ready to go. Um, that's project one. I'd have my description again. If I need to get rid of that, I'm going to go from there. Okay, and down here, I just have to change that to project two. I would add my picture and so forth. I think you get the idea, though, without me going through each one. In this case, let me show you again how to delete that and, and so forth. Okay, now let's say I have the whole project completed with my images, my text, and everything I need. Right within Canva, you could either download this, or you can start to really look at your presentation to get a feel of how it's going to look. So I'm going into Enter Presentation. You could change the size of it and size it up a bit, but for the sake of um, really just showing you in this tutorial how it works, let me just go through it quickly. Okay, I'm going to try not to go too fast here, but um, you know, put my slide on. I'm doing my presentation, interacting with my audience, and so on. And I'm ready to go on my next slide, and so on. So you get the idea of how this works. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm going to exit out of the presentation mode. And uh, now before I finish up this tutorial, I also want to show you a few other things in Canva. Okay, um, so I uh, want to show you, for instance, if you want to do a Twitter post, okay, and design an image, and it's going to pop up some options. So here's one, let's say it's a free one, okay, and I could change that picture, obviously, like I showed you before. It's a nice picture. I could leave it, though, and I could put another quote here if I wanted to and write down the author, but what it's done, it's nicely formatted it for me and giving me this box to put the author on. And so when I'm ready, if I want to share it, just click right there. I could say I want to send it to a social media. I would send it to Twitter, and I would type in my caption of whatever I wanted, and then I would go share now. And you might have to set that up so while you have your Twitter opened and ready to go. So that's some of the basics um, of how to use Canva. There's so much more in it that um, you know, I don't, I'm not going to have time to go through thoroughly right now. Um, 
it is just a fantastic tool. There's so much you could do with it. You could see I've been using it for a while. Um, you can save your presentations, give them titles, save them right within Canva. You can download them. Uh, the free version of it has plenty for you to use. So I invite you to really um, open up a Canva account and um, to explore all the various options and uh, you know, just take some time to explore with it. Um, you know, as I've done. And um, I love the tool and I hope you will as well. And by the way, um, I use this, I'm going to be using this particular one, which is actually a thumbnail. Let me just show you where that was. That would be a thumbnail for um, a YouTube post. And I'll just, right before I close out, show you how I did that. Um, I went down and I picked this design and I changed it up to what I needed and I just changed the text. So I'll go back to my canvas here or Canva and uh, I'll show you the one I redesigned somewhere in here if we can find it. Um, it might be in through here. Let's see. Okay, so let's say, I'll do it for you again, okay? So let's say um, I want to change that to okay. and really right now I could download it or I could screen capture it and then later on, um, again, it was the thumbnail design. Um, I can use that uh, once I upload this tutorial um, to YouTube and make that my thumbnail. So uh, going back again, we'll see that um, that was the one that I was just using. Okay, so uh, please, you know, explore this fantastic tool and uh, Enjoy it. There's just so much to do with it. You can see I've been using it quite a bit. Okay, thank you so much for uh, watching the tutorial, and I hope it was helpful to you.